Hello and welcome again to another one of the DX Engineering video series. We're here at the Dayton Hamvention and look who we found. It's Gordon West, WB6NOA. Welcome, Gordon. Well, thank you, Tim. I'm delighted to be here. And wow, what a contest group outside. <laughs> well, we're having a lot of fun here. And these DX Engineering video series is fun because I get to ask some questions that everybody asks you kind of one-on-one, -on -one, but not many people know. How the heck did you get started in this hobby? I started out as a shortwave listener on long wave, tuning in AM broadcast at night. And you know, I could never figure out where the sky wave stations came from that disappeared during the day. So would I be good on 80 meters or 160? <laughs> sure, sure. You know, and uh, how long ago was this? Was it just a couple of years ago? <laughs> uh, yeah, it was just when radio was getting started. I knew Sam Morris and all the gang, probably in the uh, early 50s, 51, 52. Wow. And in the radio hobby that, that you started in the early 50s uh, for yourself has never left. That passion has oh, never left you. No, I, I think, Tim, when a ham gets bitten by the ham bug, even before we get our license, we just love to prowl around. And I'm always amazed how radio waves get from here to there. And I still am amazed driving across the country, tuning in an AM radio station, Skywave, 300 miles away. You still, it, it, that same feeling that you got back in the 50s, you still get today. Uh, when absolutely, you, it sure is. And But you get to do some really cool things like... Uh, listening on two meters to Hawaii, you know, in, in the uh, summertime. Well, that was probably when I started as a technician class operator. Uh, back in the 60s, we didn't have, as you know, HF privileges, but we sure had six meters and two meters. And I was always fascinated how the weather would influence how far away we could pick up stations. And, and so, again, that fascination, and you, you, using the internet, you've spread the word about that. I, I, I have to believe that a whole lot more people became aware of that phenomenon because you talked about it on, <laughs> on Ham Nation and, and other places, and they saw how excited you were about that, that type of propagation. And it is. I think it's so exciting for hams getting into our hobby today that they get all the bands that they get as a technician class operator, including sky waves on 10 meters, CW on uh, 1540 and 75, and who knows, maybe some rule changes, they'll get data as well. Yeah, well, let's hope for that. that. I think that would be a big win. And Gordon, I have to tell you that uh, you've had a, a big impact on my life because when my son had just gotten into Boy Scouts uh, he came with me to Hamcom uh, in Arlington Texas and lo and behold there was the radio merit badge uh, for Boy Scouts taught by Gordon West and you had your pickle there you had the whole shebang and this would become his start to graduating as an Eagle Scout oh so wow I want to thank you for inspiring my own son to, uh, to continue on and uh, his first merit badge. He, what, he never, never made it to be a ham, but his first merit badge was taught by Gordon West. And well, so, and who knows, maybe he will become a ham, getting that first introduction to uh, radio waves and uh, pickles sparking <laughs> at that very um, uh, memorable uh, scout get together for the radio merit badge. Yes, and now how many pickles have you gone through? Uh, um, on that demonstration. Uh, we've been through a lot of pickles. The last one is still at the uh, John Wayne Airport where TSA just could not figure it out and said, this is not going to fly. But you know, there are more in the future, Tim. There, there are. And you have had uh, such a, an inspiring effect on a lot of young people because of your enthusiasm for the hobby and certainly uh, on Ham Nation. And you do a lot of Skyping with other clubs, right? I do. At least once a week I meet up with a Ham Radio Club and Skype and I try and do more than just a talking head but do some sort of demonstration live and direct. Well, that's phenomenal. And Gordon, I want to thank you for all your contributions to this hobby and I look forward to many more QSOs down the log. Well, thank you so much for having me here and wow, Contest University, wow, wow, wow. How many do we have here tonight in uh, 2016? It's going to be about 275, so it's, it's really good. Well, congratulations to you and your whole team at DX Engineering. Thank you, Gordon.